Good morning, Miss Amy. I am Jinky De Maano from Seneca College. I am going to present about three ergonomic checklists, which are Display Screen Equipment Workstation Checklist, MSD Hazard Identification Tool Computer Workstation, OCA Office Ergonomic Checklist. I am going to start first at DSE. The user problem here is under environment. Our level of noise compatible? His answer is no. And his action to take the user workstation is in the living room where the television and most of the time the kids is staying in there and playing. Under display screen equipment workstation, the question is reflect on the process what was identified as a problem, how the user fixed the problem, and what is the possible proposed solution. The process was easy to follow and help access the risk in the user's work environment. The illustrations were clear and showed the possible problem better than the test text explanation. Based on the DSE checklist, the problem of the workstation was the environment. The location of the workstation was in the living room. Since the apartment only had one bedroom and there was not enough room in the bedroom for the workstation, it was set up in the living room. The noise level was high because of the television and the kids playing in the same location. This posed a big problem, causing the user to lose focus and frequent prey concentration because of the noise. The possible solution for this would be to schedule the use of the television and the kids play in the bedroom during working hours. Another solution is to purchase special design earplugs and would be cut off the noise level. Or use headset even while the TV is on and the kids are playing. The next checklist is MSD Hazard Identification Tool Computer Workstation. The user problem here is under Table 3, Monitor and Workstation Device Component of MSD Hazard Identification Checklist. Head turn to the side repeatedly or for a long time when working. The user answer here is yes. Under MSD Hazard, the question is, Reflect on the process, what was identified as a problem, how the user fixed the problem, and what is the possible solution. The process was easy to follow using the MSD Hazard Identification Tool. There were drawing and corrective options provided. The hazard identified with this checklist was the head of the user turning to the side or turning from side to side repeatedly because of using two monitors. Only one monitor is used most of the time, the other one is used for browsing. The solution was to move the monitors closer to each other. This eliminated having to the repeated turning to the head from side to side. The third checklist is OCAW Office Ergonomic Checklist. The user big problem here is under required measurement, which is seated eye height, he has 106cm, and the screen height 84cm. Under OCO Office Ergonomic Checklist, the question is, reflect on the process, what was identified as a problem, how the user fixed the problem, and what is the possible solution. The process was also easy to follow. The problem identified using this checklist was the measurement difference between seated eye height and screen height. The user having a problem because his laptop monitor is a little bit low to his seated eye height. The solution to this problem was fairly easy and the materials were readily available. The user set the laptop on a file of books so that they were at the same level of the seated eye height and screen height. What differences between the three checklists did you notice? 
explained in detail. There were various differences. The contents of the checklist were not the same. They mostly had similar components listed, but they, there were some that were not described in the other. For example, the OCO checklist included a table with the physical measurements of the user and of the workstation. The difference would indicate that needs to be changed. This was not in the other two checklists. Another difference, but the reverse this time, is that the MSD and the DSE checklist provided drawings or illustrations that showed the component of were being evaluated, such as the position of the mouse beside the monitor, the posture of the end users, and others. The OCO checklist didn't have any illustrations. Another difference is that the MSD checklist provided several corrective options for the user to try to fix the problem. The DSE checklist didn't have this but in indicated things to consider per component being evaluated, which were not very detailed compared to the ones in the MSD checklist. The OCO checklist provided actions to be taken similar to the MSD checklist, but it is not easy visible to the checklist. The OCO checklist didn't include the temperature component in its consideration, while the MSD and the DSE checklist did. Of the three, only the DSE checklist included the noise level and the software in its consideration. Of the three, only the OCOW checklist included taking break in its consideration and listed it under the job variety components. Did you find this office assessment challenging? Why or why not? Yes, this was fairly challenging, especially since the details being considered are many. They are also easily overlooked, so it was interesting to note that components of a work setup were being considered or checked for hazards. Finding solutions for the problem without having to purchase something was both intri intriguing and challenging. How will you use what you learn during this assignment in the future? I can use what I learned from this assignment in the work environment I encounter. I will also help me in the understand why an employee is easily tired due to their workstation setup. It will also help me find solutions to remove hazards and make the employee comfortable and efficient in their work. I can also apply it to my own workstation setup. And this is the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.